What the? What's this? I can't believe what we just saw. Elk, I'm afraid. I don't want to turn out like that. Turn out like what? Oh, wait. Another piece of the puzzle. Uh-oh. It sounds like those two discovered something they probably shouldn't have and decided to run. Oh, and they're already busted. Oh, boy. Whew. Yeah. I can see why it'd be a bit of a nightmare. I probably wouldn't be able to sleep either. I'd have to go out for some fresh air. If I was having dreams like that, God. I can't help but feel for the poor guy. He's had a hard life. Yeah, it goes coast. This is a nice little scene. Oh, huh, there's Lisa. <laughs> Can't help but f feel bad for the guy. I heard you get up, and I came to f and came. To f I heard you get up and came to find you. What's the matter? Can't you sleep? Can I sit with you? Uh, yeah. Sure, might as well. <laughs> character development, character development. Well, you know. Elk, do you want to hear about my village? Sure. My village is called Home. It's a peaceful place surrounded by beautiful mountains. People nearby don't like to come there. They're afraid of us. You see, the women in my village have a special ability. We can communicate with birds and animals. Oh! A few of us are even able to speak with monsters. I'm one of the women with this ability. I can use this power to control monsters and make them my companions. Pretty much like a monster tamer. I was thought that I shouldn't use taught that I shouldn't use my power in front of people. For if they knew what I could do, they would become afraid like the others. And that fear might turn into hate. Hmm. Why are you telling me this? I don't know. I think it's because... I believe I can trust you, Elk. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Plus, you know... Of course you like him. I like each other. You know it. You know that's. You knew that was coming from a mile away. I'll try to deny that. The airship that attacked Prodias is the same one that attacked my village. I was so blinded by my rage that I may have killed my best friend. I keep wondering what would have happened if I had just waited. Elk, you couldn't have known. But that's exactly it. I never know, and somehow those I love end up being hurt. Muriel's another. Did you remember more? Uh, apparently so. I remember being taken to a big white building. There were children there with special powers. Mary and I were two of those children. We didn't understand the purpose of that place at first. We simply knew it was a, knew it as our home. Not some home. I'd be willing to run away from it this first chance I got. <laughs> I'll tell you what happened to those children. They got turned into monsters. That's what happened. We sneaked into one of the rooms from the Forbidden Corridor. They witnessed the horrible truth. Oh. Oh. No, that's... No. No, 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 no. That's, the, that's just... Beyond inhumanity. That's beyond inhumanity. The 
Yeah. We're going to have to put a stop to that, like, really quick. I can't stand that. Especially to, young, to innocent children. On the forest around the compound, and that's when he remembers this part. I see, yes. Mariel trips, falls, but tells Elk to run away. Oh, poor elk. And he ran as fast as he possibly could, not knowing where he was going. She'll be okay. I'm sure that she's still waiting for you. I just have a sense that she was alive as well. How can you falter now? It's not the elk I've come to know. Well, Lisa. Way to give a boost of confidence. <sighs> and then there's the typical love triangle. Oh boy. Well, we'll see as we'll see later as the story develops. But then the place is ransacked. Oh jeez. Okay, not good. Oh boy. Don't be mean to my grandpa. Oh, they're back there. Somehow I saw this coming. We've been looking for you, Doc. I know, and I refuse to go back. You can't make me. Get out of here this instant. Oh, Doc, you will come back. Otherwise, we may have to take more drastic measures. No! No! You mustn't involve Leah! What do you think you're doing? And it's the Cabal. And it's the brat from the Skyport! Good! We can ice him, then take the Doc and the girl. Oh, jeez. Two new opponents. Well, one new opponent. We got a couple of ninjas, and I think those are kobolds. Let's take them down quick. Ah, oh, these guys are nothing. If you're at a pretty decent level, these guys will be no problem for you to waste. Oh, please, you're making this too easy. Just line them all up, why don't you? <laughs> oh, should I firestorm them or should I? No. I'm gonna stab them. Yeah, they're doing going down really quick. Ooh, a new ability we have. Now we can cap now Lisa can capture monsters. She can become a Pokemon master. Bad joke. But you know that's what it looks like. You can't deny that. Capture monsters, make them your your friends and blah blah blah. Which yeah, you you can get just about most of the monsters in this game that are wild, you can capture. And make them your pets. So they can fight for you. Alright. You know what? I'm gonna go back to my sword for a bit. 
<laughs> he stood no chance. Let's see, how weak is he? Oh, nah. Actually, ninjas. Yeah, if they're obviously if they're human, you can't capture them. They have to be animal, animals or monsters. They can't be human. Or, I think there's other there's other exceptions to this, but we'll see later on. And meanwhile, level up for Lisa. Okay, clean them out. We're okay. What was that all about? Why were those thugs after you? Well... Come on! I have to know so I can help. There. From the Chimera Research Lab. Chimera Research Lab? Yes! I was one of its lead scientists. The Chimera Research Lab... ...was established to study monsters and learn how to create them. The lab is Romalia's most prized scientific facility. The monsters which are produced at the lab are used for a variety of tasks. I hate to ask such as what. I think I have a good idea already. Some are used to aid Romalia in conflicts with other nations. While others are used for more peaceful purposes. Such as trade. The lab's creations have infiltrated the world. And all of them are controlled by Romalia. Big surprise! It's always, it always leads back to Romalia. Now that the lab has achieved its original goals, they have embarked on a more ambitious task. The lab's new focus is to create stronger, smarter monsters. By combining the genetic material of monsters and humans, like I said, inhuman, as the program progressed and grew, they found humans who possessed special abilities. Most of them were just children ripped from their homes. They began a program to study the children. They desired a way to harvest the children's powers. The facility codenamed White House is their lab. Each child had a target job, such as soldier or spy. The children's abilities were cultivated and powers raised. Then at just the right time, they were melded into monsters. As I progressed up the ladder in rank, I came to know the full truth of what was taking place at the lab. They had put, him, they had put into action a series of unspeakably horrible programs. I decided I could no longer play a part. So I planned my escape along with my granddaughter, Leah. Wait, so they were all right? I thought they weren't. I guess... Maybe they were. Hmm. Seems like such a long time ago. And you're also a victim of the Chimera Lab. Please, tell me where to find White House. I made a promise. I have to save her. I'm afraid I don't know exactly where it is. I do know it's somewhere in Aldia, and is managed by Galawano, one of Romalia's four generals. And where is Galawano? He's in Aldia, attempting to control the country with a cabal. Hmm, the cabal. Well, it's a start. Is my ship operational yet? Not quite. I'm afraid those Cabal goons interrupted my work. However, I will finish it in short order, and it will be something special. It will be much more powerful than it was, once was. A Vilma special, if you will. I promise to have it done tomorrow. Yeah, I guess we don't have a choice then. We'll have to get some rest. Alright then. 
Hopefully there won't be any more interruptions. Oh, Leah's waking us up. It's morning already? Morning? It's afternoon, silly. Wow. <laughs> Enough small talk, Leah. Did you hear me? Good morning, Elk. Yes, I heard you. Grandpa said the ship is on the small skyport outside the village. Outside of the village? Great, let's go. All right, let's go check this out real quick because we're getting a little bit more done, a little bit more on this episode than what we what I intended to do, but that's okay. I could probably split this into parts if need be. Oh, there it is. There's our ship, makeshift skyport. Oh, look at that. Looks brand new. Doc sure did a hell of a job. Hmm? Oh, there's the doctor. <laughs> I knew I'd catch you. What's wrong? We caught them together, Grandpa. Why'd you leave to say goodbye without me? Oh, boy. I didn't know you'd be able to keep up. They were in a hurry to leave. Well, yeah, I guess we kind of were. We did kind of need to uh, get away. About the robot you brought to me, Elk. Did you fix it? Well, no, not yet. It seems to be a battle robot. I'll fix it, and once it's done, you may have it. But you'll have to come back for it later when it's done. That's great, but why? I decided that I must do everything I can to stop Romalia. Repairing this battle robot is my way of helping the cause. Great, we'll come back after we save Muriel. Be careful, Elk. Galoano is the most sadistic of the four generals. If he's not stopped, we're all in a world of trouble. And soon. He's no stooge, so I'm sure that he's waiting for you with all manner of vicious traps. It won't be easy, but I believe you can win. We will, don't worry. Um... I've gotta get this thing ready to go. Bye! Rotor check, propulsion system check. Okay. Looks like everything's a go. Okay. Yeah, of course we'll play with you, Leah. Next time. Next time we get the chance. Alrighty. And with that, I'm going to wrap this up, and when we come back on our next episode of Arc Let's Play Arcplad 2, we're heading back home and trying to find Galawano. So until then, I'm signing out. Sayonara for now.